Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we're talking about interview questions, the BS ones. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in a moment, but I just kind of want to talk about how I feel about interviews working in Tech and Cloud. And I want you to know that they suck, and they probably will always suck, and it doesn't matter how much you prepare. Uh, you're never going to enjoy applying for um, jobs. The only time that I ever enjoyed an interview process was when I knew the company already wanted me. So they skipped some of this HR stuff, some of this nonsense stuff, and all they did was focus on trying to uh, show me how fun and great the company was. There's less of that now, um, but you know, 10 years prior, it was like people would be like, hey, let's fly you out here, uh, and then you're gonna hang out with us for the day, and uh, we're going to make sure you have a great time. Like this is like on-site interviews for a day or two, and then they would try to evaluate you while you're doing it, like try to try to um, um, uh, put the medicine in the dog food, so to speak, or in the you know hide the medicine in the food, uh, being like, yeah, we need to get we need to evaluate you here, but we also want you to feel like this is a great great time and experience. That doesn't happen a lot, um, or it usually happens with startups, uh, but that landscape has changed. But I just recall this one time, my favorite I think my favorite interview was when I was flown out for a company called attachments.me and um, they're in San Francisco at the time and uh, their their perk, their thing was the last 15 or 20 minutes of every day, it was a very small team, um, they, uh, they played Smash Brothers Melee on a GameCube. And um, the reason why that was really fun was because uh, I really liked that game, but upstairs, you know, uh, like on the next floor up was Asana. Uh, they're like a project management tool. And I know Asana because I used to, I used, I, I built, I helped build the open source project team box a long time ago. And so I thought it was really cool to, uh, that that company was there. And the other part of it was the fact that um, they would play tournaments with this much larger company. Um, like, I think it was like every other week they would go up to the Asana office and it was a very impressive office and they would play uh, in a tournament against their employees. And so that kind of stuff is fun, but uh, you know you don't see it anymore, um, uh, which is fine. Um, but uh, I just wanted to tell that story. But let's get back to the point of this video here, which is about BS questions uh, when you are being interviewed for a job. So uh, Fadi had made a post on LinkedIn. He was one of my boot campers, one of my best boot campers, and he's applying for uh, interviews. And he's just poking fun in tongue in cheek about these common interview questions. These interview questions would be something like, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to uh, work for this company? What's your biggest weakness? What are your greatest strengths? Tell me where do you see yourself in five years? Those are the five that he posted. And I'm going to add one on there that I think comes up a lot, which is, um, you know, tell me about a time you're working with a colleague and you had a dispute and you had to resolve it, right? So... Uh, these questions can feel very unfair or bs -y because they're so open-ended. And, you know, like if you're hiring for a technical role, ask me technical questions to talk about, you know, what the work is. Um, and I would say that for the most part, some of these questions, most of these questions I don't like. Um, but, uh, you know, HR likes them because, you know, they, they see it as a way to s screen them. It's not about, uh, you know, like... It's about the, it's about filtering out really bad applicants that answer these questions really bizarrely. Like the whole point of these questions is you're basically doing a song and dance for this company, and it could be that the you know HR, the hiring hiring manager, the person is saying, does this person understand, you know, when to give a canned answer when we give a canned question, right? That that could be the reason why, like like communication compliance. Or, you know, they're saying, you know, is this person, if we ask them a very basic question, uh, a generic question, which is a frustrating question, uh, you know, how are they going to respond to it? Are they going to respond with anger? Are they going to respond in kind? Uh, you know, are they going to be long-winded and be stuck? So, you know, for them, they, they might feel that there's value in the question. I don't personally like them, but, you know, I do like a couple. There's two that I do like. And the two that I do like is, why do you want to work for this company? And I just say this as somebody that has done a lot of interviewing. So these are two that I actually do like to ask. The other ones I don't. I'm not going to ask you what your strengths or weaknesses are. I hate those ones. But I will ask you, 
about, you know, why do you want to work for this company? Because it just tells me whether you know what the company is. Because a lot of applicants these days, especially now, they are uh, applying in mass volumes. They're just shotgunning their resumes everywhere. And then they sit these interviews and they don't know anything about the companies. And these companies are frustrated because they just want to know that the person they're talking to has done their homework. Uh, and I know the interviewers or the interviewee goes like, I didn't do my homework because the market is saturated and I have to apply to a, a bunch of places. But the company doesn't care because they want you to do the song and dance to get the job. The other part is tell me where you see yourself in five years. I love this question. A lot of people don't like it um, because they're like, I don't know. I just need a paycheck. Why are you asking me this question? But um, it's not about five years. It's about, you know, do you see yourself fitting with this company, right? Like it's, you know, if a company, if like if you're working for a company, they 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 want to know you're going to stay there or not stay there or or it's going to align with their interests. And the only way they know that is is what you tell them what you're, where you think you're going to project your future, right? And so um, I do think it puts a lot of work on the uh, interviewee because they have to do research and kind of understand what it is that this company is looking for and if it aligns with your interests. But a lot of people come to these job interviews and they probably just want to say, Hey, I just want, I want a paycheck. I don't know where, where, where I'm going to be next year or next five years. I don't know. Um, but the thing is, is that the company doesn't like that as an answer because what happens once you get the job and now you have money and now you have the thought of, Hey, is this what I actually really want to be doing? Because that's what happens. People get it one year in and they go, you know what? I did need the money this time, but now I've decided I really want to have personal growth. I want to be in a leadership role, or I don't want to be in management. Don't promote me, or uh, you know, I really be I want to be working with this tech because I'm trying to uh, future proof my skill set. And so, even though this company doesn't need to use Kubernetes, I want to use Kubernetes. It's it's a requirement for me, or otherwise I'm going to move on. So, you know, this question is a very important question to companies. And so, you know, you have to uh, spend most. I think that's the question I would spend the most time on and most research on, but, you know, I think there is a way to, um, help, uh, automate, help, uh, streamline this process of asking these questions. And so in this video, we're going to use chat GPT and try to help it or help us, uh, answer these questions. And the reason I say this is because like some people are really good, are really, really good at doing the work. Um, and, but they're terrible to interview. I'm one of those persons. I have dyslexia. Uh, that means reading, writing, not so great, even speaking, you'll hear me talk. Uh, and I will just say different words for the words that I mean. I did that in my last video. Instead of saying app, 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 applicant, I said resume. So the it did, make, did not make any sense. I stumble all the time. And so I really do have to prepare um, and coach myself for this, you know, that part of the job, which is the interview. Um, or, you know, you sidestep and you try to find companies where you don't have to do that process. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping that you'll find a benefit of it, but let's go jump over to ChatGPT and see how it can help us and if it is useful. So see you in the next one.